Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently quarter to 11 on Sunday the 16th of May. Tomorrow I'm getting on a train and going to the Midlands to go and visit my mum for Christmas. Dane reads. Uh, I'm aware it's May. We haven't been legally allowed to see each other since just before Christmas. What's annoying is that the way the government did the lockdown changes, it came up pretty much overnight. So there was like this three tier system and we were tier two, the middle tier. Then the next day we went to tier three, which was the worst tier. And then the day after that we went to tier four, which was a newly created tier for like a national lockdown. But this happened about 10 days before Christmas. And it's like, because of the proximity of when I was due to visit my mum, it's not only that I haven't seen her since December, I haven't seen her since like September because I was due my next visit for Christmas, you know, so this is the longest I've ever been without seeing her. Um, she could have got pregnant and had another child in the time it's been since I've seen her. That's how mad it is. So I'm very much looking forward to going to see my mum. I will be taking a Stephen King book with me along the way. In the meantime, I'm just finishing off The Survivor by James Herbert and I might squeeze in a quick Spike Milligan before I leave as well. We will see. Hello everybody, it is currently 8pm on Thursday the 20th of May. I did a terrible job of vlogging while I was away at my mum's house. Mostly to be honest, I was kind of chilling a lot. I was doing a lot of work as well. Uh, he's biggie, biggie's missed his daddy. Yes, he has. Hello everybody, look who's here. Look biggie, you're saying hello to the internet again. He's missed his daddy. Yes, he has. He wants to go down now, though. Come on, then. So, yeah, uh, let's think what happened. Well, I think last time I updated you was on the Sunday, because I was up all night on the Sunday. I got the first train at about half six in the morning, so I got to my mum's house at about quarter to nine in the morning. Uh, we mostly spent the day chilling, to be honest. We did go out to um, B&M, or the warehouse, or the range, or one of those. It's one of the big shops where... Um, or stores for you Americans, where it sells like cheap homeware and discount goods and all of that kind of stuff. So we went to that on Monday. On Tuesday, we saw my granddad, he came round and then we went out for lunch at a pub called The Fox. On Wednesday, I saw my Uncle Carl and my other set of grandparents on my mum's side and we went out for lunch again. And then that brings us today, which is Thursday, when my mum drove me back and we went out for lunch again. Um, she's staying overnight tonight, so I'm gonna meet her tomorrow morning. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna, she's gonna park here and we're gonna walk into town. I'm gonna show her the house that I'm buying. Um, and then we're just gonna go around some of the charity shops in town and she's gonna head back. And then tomorrow night it is uh, the open mic night at Wickham Art Centre. And then Saturday we have music in the garden, although it may be indoors, we'll see, because of the rain. And then in the evening my friend Jordana has a gig, so I'm gonna go down to that probably. And then Sunday just working again. I'm still in the process of putting all my stuff away because one of the reasons my mum wanted to give me a lift, like I have all my Christmas presents that I finally got to open. Um, and obviously we went to a few shops. She also gave me her old TV because she'd upgraded her TV, which is good news because my old TV was broken. So now I have a TV again to watch BookTube on. Uh, my granddad gave me some vinyls as well, which is very much appreciated. And yes, I've been doing a lot of reading. Um, I will show you what I read. So because I was at my mum's house, they, there's a bath there, so I had a bath every evening. And I was taking these Spike Milligans into the bath. So we have Spike Milligan, the little pot boiler, the bedside Milligan, uh, a dustbin of Milligan, and a book of bits or a bit of a book by Spike Milligan. I'd give these three, three out of five, and then a dustbin of Milligan was two out of five. They were just okay. I mean, I'm only really reading them to tick them all off. They're kind of like, mostly a mixture of like humorous poetry, doctored photographs which are just photos where Milligan's written a funny caption for them some letters here and there and a bit of weird like um, I say weird fiction but not like Lovecraft we're talking like um, the Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll surrealist and all that stuff but um, Mill Milligan sorry I'm just letting the cat out and it's made me go blurry but um, Milligan was one of the members of the Goon show which was like a sort of hugely influential comedy show he was actually a, a writing influence on John Lennon uh, amongst other people, so that's kind of why I'm going through his stuff, although he does have a tendency to be quite racist quite often. Uh, luckily not so much in these, although he did keep writing poems about China, which went on about Fu Manchu, which makes me feel bad, because I don't know who Fu Manchu was or where it, it is, but I think it was a person. I also read The Bizarre of Bad Dreams by Stephen King, so every time I go to Tamworth, to, or any time I go travelling anywhere really, when I know I'm going to spend a lot of time travelling, I take my longest unread King book, so that for me was The Bizarre of Bad Dreams. I think it's actually the only 
King book that I own that I hadn't read, so I ticked that off. Short story collections, some are better than others. Some of them are kind of predictable here and there. It's also got a couple of King's poems, which weren't very good. Um, he wrote prose poems, but then I'm like, well, his actual prose is better than his prose poetry, so hey-ho. But overall, I would give this a 4 out of 5. It's still Stephen King. Uh, and there was a good story towards the end of a guy who wrote obituaries that came true. Um, the one near the start was good about this, like, haunted car. Mile 81, that was called. Um, Batman and Robin have an altercation was good. That was about dementia. There was a piece about uh, AIDS and HIV, HIV. Yeah, there was just lots of pretty like interesting stuff. And um, what was cool about this is he did what Asimov does with his story collections, where he wrote little introductory essays which talked about each of the stories and kind of explained where the ideas came from and a bit of context behind them and that sort of thing. So it was cool to see King's take on that, you know. And I'm now reading The Spear by James Herbert, um, which is okay. It's on for a 3.5 out of 5. It's kind of like a, almost like a spy espionage thriller, I guess. It does have elements of um, like Israel versus Palestine in it as well. In fact, it's basically got a strong Jewish theme throughout it because a lot of it builds upon like Nazism as well. Um, which is normally the kind of stuff I'd like, but it's just a bit slow going. There was a sex scene in it that was written surprisingly well. Um, yeah, I'll be doing a review for that soon anyway. But that is where we're at. I'm gonna go and do some more unpacking. Hopefully get a relatively early night. Um, I've gotta do some work as well. I've got a meeting at the art center tomorrow. It's all kicking off. I'm so busy, it's ridiculous. But I'm hopefully gonna at least make some progress this evening. A um, few other bits to film. So I've got, I, I tabbed out one of the Milligans to do a review, even though it was just there. So I've got the review of that to do, the Stephen King review to do, and the James Herbert review to do. Plus my quick wrap up, plus a quick haul. And that brings us back up to date and then I've got some editing I guess. Hello! We'll do a vlog, why not? It is the 23rd of May, Sunday the 23rd of May, about 10.15pm. Busy old weekend, so I think last time, I think I might have had a chance to update you. When did I last update you? I did update you after I got back here. So let's think, that was probably Thursday evening. Friday morning I met up with my mum, we went to go and uh, I showed around the house that I'm buying and introduced it to the guy I'm buying it off. Uh, just to give us some peace of mind really and to help her picture it in her head. Um, I also heard from my mortgage guy, so uh, hopefully <laughs> the point I'm editing in my vlogs at the moment is the point when I realised I was going to have to pay down 17% uh, as a deposit. Still got to do that, so I've got to borrow some money. However, because I'll be putting down a, great, a, a larger deposit, my monthly mortgage payments will be £100 cheaper, so I can pay my dad back £100 a month. Um, so it should take about five years and then I'll have paid him back the money he'll lend me to get in the place. And obviously if I make any more money, uh, you know, than I'm expecting to, then I can, you know, pay him back early. So that's good. Um, hard at work at the art centre. So on, let's think, on Friday night we had an open mic night. So I may well include some footage here of that. And I'm also going to put up my full set, I think, as a video by itself just because I can. Uh, that was nice because we had a work experience girl called Caitlin who's not really been able to do much like she's been with us for the year and obviously it's been a COVID year so we've not really been able to do much. Um, she's actually organised an event for next Saturday so that's going to be cool and she's going to be doing sound for that with a bit of help from me. Um, but yeah so she hosted the open mic which was cool she'd never done that before and it meant she got to kind of meet everybody and go around. She performed some of her songs as well and overall it was just a good night everybody enjoyed it. Uh, and then Saturday, back there in the daytime for music in the garden, except it was in the theatre because the weather wasn't great. Uh, so we had about four bands playing there. It was a bit quiet, quieter than we expected, but um, we kind of got a few people along saying, come along, we'll give you a free pint. So that was good. And then last night I went to see my friend Jordana play a gig at a pub called The Flint Cottage. So that was all of that. And then today, I mean, I, I woke up at like half ten and was up for an hour and then went back to bed again and woke up at like half two. So now I'm just playing catch up a little bit. My tattoo is healing nicely, my tattoo of Vivi, there he is. Uh, it's healing a lot better than the burn I have on my hand. Um, what have I got to update you on books wise? Okay, so I finished, I finished reading The Spear by James Herbert. I gave it a pretty weak 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. Lots of like Nazi themes, uh, and it, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Thule Society, but basically it's this like supernatural secret society that used to exist, and there are like rumours that Hitler was involved in all of this stuff, so this book kind of riffs on that. So the spear is the spear that pierced Jesus' side, and Heinrich Himmler has managed to track it down, and he survived the end of the war and all this stuff. 
uh, Mossad gets involved. Yeah, it was like a political th espionage thriller almost, but with these supernatural elements. Not the best of Herbert's books that I've read, but uh, hey ho, review coming soon. Uh, then I read Five Get Gran on. Oh, sorry. Th yeah, I said that. Then I get. Then I read Five Get Gran Online by Enid Blyton, except it's by Bruno Vincent. Uh, he wrote a whole bunch of these, and he also wrote uh, A Christmas Carol 2 Contagion, which I read recently, which was A Christmas Carol with Zombies. I got this little muppet, and I. Hey, Biggie. You want to go down already? You already want to go down? You don't want to say hello to the internet? Why don't you want to say hello? Are they not liking the videos enough, Biggie? Is that why? Or is it because you haven't got your own channel? You want your own channel? Please, please let us know in the comments if you would like Biggie to make his own videos. <laughs> not that I think he'd cooperate. Okay, so yeah, I read Five, uh, five Get Grand Online and it's just this humorous take on the famous five as they're adults. They go and meet their like estranged grandma and um, she needs some help with the computer so they set her up on that and then they have to upgrade to like Windows 10. Then all of her, you know, electricity and gas goes off and she's like, oh yes, I'm getting these letters, I wondered what they meant. So they're like, oh no problem, we'll just help you to pay it, we can go online, set them all up. So they set her, her up, uh, so they set up her online accounts for all of the utilities and stuff and they're like, right, we just need your bank details. And she's like, oh I don't trust banks, I keep all my money down in the cellar. So they have to open her a bank account and then it turns out like all this money that she's been stashing, half of it isn't legal tender anymore. A lot of fun, I probably gave it... I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, it was, it was good enough for that, you know, and if you've ever helped a, a grandparent with technology, I think you'll relate to the book and find it a lot of fun. So now I'm reading Pacoon by Spike Milligan, so this is his first and last novel, even though he did write a second novel later on. Um, and it's basically, it's hard to describe the plot because there sort of isn't one, it's a lot of like wordplay and almost stream of consciousnessy stuff. He said he had a hard time writing it and I can see why because his writing style really suits like these like one page vignettes or whatever. So it's kind of hard for him I think to turn it, turn it into like a full novel. But I'm enjoying it enough so far, only one racist term in it which is not many, men not many for Milligan, although I am only like halfway through so there may well be more. But yeah, it's okay. Probably probably a 4 out of 5 for that. No, 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 3.5 out of 5. That's what it's, what it's on at the moment anyway. That may change. But I will be doing a review of that soon as well. So, that brings us to the end of this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.